So um, Father's Day morning, so Sunday morning, uh, we do the same thing for each other, where the kids come into the room, they bring their, their gifts that they made, and, and they usually try to, to make a breakfast or whatever. Um, and what we started doing, Allie and I started doing, is when our two kids come in, uh, we, we let the other person sleep in, but we take a picture the second they wake up and realize that they're getting gifts and 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 the kids say, um, you know, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, because it's it's kind of adorable to see them do that, mm-hmm. and it's like a cool memory. But at the same time, like the picture of us is so bad that, <laughs> that it's hilarious. And she, I think she's mad at me because I, I, I she didn't say she was mad, but I think she, re- I mean, she remembered because I sent the picture off to uh, to Reese for Mother's Day this year, and was like, hey, you know, here's a picture of for for Mother's Day. And it got posted, and so she was. She did the same thing. She was the second I woke up for Father's Day. She took a picture of me, and she's like, "I want to post this." She's like, "I'm not even going to give you a chance to look at it. I'm just going to post it." And it was a, it was like me, you know, half, uh, half awake, and I have a tan line from my hat. So you see like a giant white mark on the top of my head, and uh, but and so she posted, it and she posts Happy Father's Day. But what she didn't notice is in the corner. Uh, we have these new these new uh, like nightstands. We just got them. These little side tables or whatever, and <laughs> there's condoms uh. and, and like uh, some like a remote for a toy. <laughs> that, oh boy. Yeah, and she that posted used the night before, and she posted it. And immediate, I mean, I think it's. If they, I know she took it down, but it went up as a Happy Father's Day post. <laughs> Did you bring condoms? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And it went oh. up, and it was like, he's dead, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, that's a, by the way, that's a happy Father's Day. <laughs> How fast did it come right back down? Uh, very quick. Yeah. Very, very quick. Yeah. <laughs> Part of me was like, maybe you should leave that up. <laughs> uh, you, oh, my God. That's so funny. That happens so more. Good. That happens more than people know, doesn't it? Where somebody posts a picture. And uh, they don't realize that there's something in the background of that picture and they don't realize it. Uh, You know (laughs) what? It reminds me of, I think it was for Father's Day too. And this is right after my son Smith was born. So about five years ago. And myself, I was still married at the time. So myself and my ex-husband Andrew and Lucy and baby, baby Smith, only like a few days old, were all in bed. And we took like a selfie picture and sent it to Andrew's dad to say happy Father's Day. Same thing, Mike, like right when we first woke up. Mm -hmm. Well, I was like nursing at the time. I didn't know where my my boobs were, you know. They were just big and filled with milk. It was gross. We later realized that my nipple was showing in the photo. (laughs) And there was no like taking that down or deleting it because it was sent in a text. So Andrew's dad got a happy Father's Day text and there was my nipple in it. (laughs) (laughs) Did he say anything about it? No, God, no. But it was like, oh. You wish you could just suck it back. I you like know? your boobies. Yep. <laughs> yep. Don't use booby and suck it back in the same sentence. Uh, 844 Mojo Live, 844-665-6548 is the telephone number. Have you ever posted a picture not knowing that there was something else in the picture and then you had to eventually just take it down or somebody told you later that, that it was there? Um, what was the uh, What was the post? Tell us about that one. Uh, all in all, it was a good Father's Day. What a what a great uh, day that you ended up having, huh? Or or night before it started, right? Yeah, yeah, Father. Yeah, yeah, it was a good night. <laughs> yeah, I like what Allie did for you. For those that missed it earlier this morning, Mike uh, said that uh, Allie ended up spending the day with him. Like you know, sent the kids off so that they could have a day together, That's which really is kind of nice. nice. That's yeah, actually yeah. a really cool thing because so many times we we you know. We think that Mother's Day and Father's Day, moms and dads spend time with your kids, but you spend time with your kids so much during the year that it's a nice day to kind of, you know, do something nice with the kids and then go and kind of have a day to yourself to be able to do something, especially when you have little ones like you do, right? Yeah, yeah. We did So we did the, the, the day before, like, to the beach or whatever and hung out for the whole day. And then the next day, they woke me up with the the gifts and stuff and then they were gone for like it was like a day date so it was like brunch and a movie which was nice yeah that's cool what movie did you see uh jurassic whatever that is was it was it good or not no it's not very good i know i keep hearing it's bad that movie uh i've heard different people say mixed reviews on and then i couldn't believe how little of people went out to go see that buzz Lightyear. i know i'm going tomorrow night i haven't heard anybody talk about it It have you heard any reviews well I, i was at the theater on um uh saturday 
So I was at the for the ice cream truck. Yeah. And we were standing out in front, and one of the posts that's actually on our Mojo in the Morning social media page is a mom walking out. And I said, Oh, you, I saw that. You can always tell when a movie yeah. is good if the mom or the dad who took the kid to the movie slept through it. And she, of course, started laughing because she did. She slept. Yeah. She slept through the movie, but she actually did say she said uh, <clears throat> she missed uh, Tim Allen. She said it's not; it, it wasn't the same yeah. without without Tim Allen doing, uh, you know, Buzz Lightyear. They, they, you know, thought it was kind of like it was. Y- so you, you ever watch? Sounds like they didn't understand the concept when they went into the movie. Do you ever watch though the um, sometimes where they'll do like the, you know remember how there's always something on like there's a movie version of something and then they do the TV show version of things. Yes. And then Disney they have, does that all the time with have, like Little Mermaid, The Lion King. Then they have the show, oh, yeah. Aladdin, and it's like a different, it, it wasn't. It's a different actor, right? It was a different actor and, and it throws you off. Like Aladdin is not the same. Well, it wasn't Robin Williams because Robin Williams obviously did the genie in the movie and then they did like an Aladdin spinoff yeah. show for the Disney yeah. Channel and it was some other dude. But.